Joining the panel now is communications director for Emily's List, the great Jess McIntosh. Jess, does Jamie Dimon qualify as a mansplainer in that statement, or is that just more, you know, verbal fisticuffs between two adversaries? No, he, he actually he's writing he's writing the textbook on it right now. Mansplaining, I feel like it's it's a it's a word that gets tossed around gloriously whenever a guy is being a jerk to a woman, and that's fine and fair, and everyone should do that. But it actually has a specific definition and what that is is a man explaining something or suggesting that a woman doesn't understand an issue in which she is an expert that's exactly what Jamie Dimon did I mean nobody in Congress understands the global banking system better than Senator Elizabeth Warren she's a Harvard professor and I mean they're, they're, the idea that she doesn't understand is so absurd that it goes beyond just your average I'm going to say something mean um, which, of course, you know, he, he has to many, many other people. But this is actually quintessential mansplaining right here. Dictionary, Jess McIntosh, Matt, dictionary says definition. dictionary definition of mansplaining. But I'm sure that Glenn knows better than I do what the definition is. So. <laughs> well, I have to let you respond to that, yeah, Glenn. Thank God. Well, Jess, well, let, me, let me tell you what, let me tell what's you going on here. <laughs> Okay, you're just gonna leave it there. That's just well, full cut. That's that's Glenn's that's line. That's need. Glenn's line for the mansplaining. Can I comment. stand up for for mankind here? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, the gender before, man, mankind. Before we Your go gender. labeling this guy a sexist, maybe we're he's labeling just, him a mansplainer. Maybe he's just kind of an arrogant jerk, which I think is probably a more likely explanation. Wait, there, but do you? I, 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 do you, I, but I guess, do you agree with what Jess, I think, very carefully laid out in terms of why specifically this is mansplaining? I don't think that every time a man picks a debate, starts a debate with a woman, picks a fight with a woman, but he wasn't it doing needs that. to be put in to this sexist context. But that's not, I, I, go, I mean, Jess, you, you can respond to that, because I wait, think that no, there is I, a difference. I, I, was, I was totally clearly saying that there are ways that guys can be jerks to men, that, or ways that guys can be jerks to women that do not constitute mansplaining. Mansplaining is specifically suggesting that a woman who is an expert in a topic doesn't understand the topic, the topic. in which she is an expert. And that's what he did. I, I believe you're right. He's probably just an arrogant jerk. I don't want to call the guy a sexist because I don't know him all that well, but arrogant jerks can employ the tactic of mansplaining, mansplaining. Well, and Jamie we, Diamond did should that we, perfectly. Should we automatically assume that even an academic, even a regular, I mean there, there are free speech uh, academics out there who say the worst nonsense anytime, you know, there's a, oh, well, there, there's a, a big difference between free speech and hate speech, which there isn't, but they're <laughs> academics, they specialize in this, but they don't actually work in the field. So it is possible that a regulator, someone who specialized this and for 25 someone years, someone who's oversaw the 2008 what happens program in, as but, a Harvard but, professor, but no, I'm not, I'm saying no, she, she is the most qualified person to talk about banking in Congress. That doesn't necessarily mean she understands or anyone the understands global financial but what happens. The puzzle, fight, you know, but no, but that is the point. You know, uh, so one of uh, Warren's main points, Joe Stiglitz's main point, is this information asymmetry thing, where uh, these institutions uh, intentionally make these financial products exactly. complex so that people don't understand them. So the so the uh, comprehensibility of this stuff is actually a key issue. Well, and and Matt Taibbi <laughs> has written about yeah. sort of the level of education and art, the, the level the, the level of sort of familiarity with global banking in the Senate. He writes most of them have absolutely no conception of even the basics of the derivatives market and that is obvious right and that's true of, of a basic category you can come up with I will say in Elizabeth Warren's defense I think she knows something about global banking I, sure. I want to ask you Jess it's not fair to just single out Jamie Dimon Warren Buffett in March said I think speaking of Elizabeth Warren that she would do better if she was less angry and demonizing <laughs> While I find that offensive, that I don't think qualifies as mansplaining. Based on it's the, not the mansplaining. It's 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 just a jerky comment. Um, I think you can you can argue that that uh, angry and demonizing is coded gendered words. We call women angry when they're being forceful, whereas we say that it's leadership qualities in men. That could certainly be at play there. But no, that is not actually mansplaining in the traditional dictionary definition. That's just maybe 